In statistics, maximum likelihood estimation MLE, is a method of estimating the parameters of a statistical model, given observations. MLE attempts to find the parameter values that maximize the likelihood function, given the observations. The resulting estimate is called a maximum likelihood estimate, which is also abbreviated as MLE. The method of maximum likelihood is used with a wide range of statistical analyses. As an example, suppose that we are interested in the heights of adult female penguins, but are unable to measure the height of every penguin in a population due to cost or time constraints. Assuming that the heights are normally distributed with some unknown mean and variance, the mean and variance can be estimated with MLE while only knowing the heights of some sample of the overall population. MLE would accomplish that by taking the mean and variance as parameters and finding particular parametric values that make the observed results the most probable given the normal model. From the point of view of Bayesian inference, MLE is a special case of maximum a posteriori estimation map that assumes a uniform prior distribution of the parameters. In frequentist inference, MLE is one of several methods to get estimates of parameters without using prior distributions. Priors are avoided by not making probability statements about the parameters, but only about their estimates, whose properties are fully defined by the observations and the statistical model. Principles The method of maximum likelihood is based on the likelihood function L theta x Display style math call L theta x. We are given a statistical model, i.e., a family of distributions F theta theta element of theta display style f c d o t theta mid theta in theta where theta display style theta denotes the possibly multidimensional parameter for the model the method of maximum likelihood finds the values of the model parameter Theta display style theta that maximize the likelihood function L theta x display style math call L theta x. Intuitively, this selects the parameter values that make the data most probable. The method defines a maximum likelihood estimate theta caret element of a r g m a x theta element of Theta L theta x display style hat theta in underset theta in theta operator name arg max math call L theta x if a maximum exists. In practice, it is often convenient to work with the natural logarithm of the likelihood function, called the log likelihood. Theta x equals lane L theta x display style L theta x equals lane math call L theta x or the average log likelihood caret theta x equals 1 n lane l theta x 
Display style hat L theta x equals FRAC one N lane math call L theta x the hat over display style L indicates that it is akin to an estimator. Indeed, carrot display style hat L estimates the expected log likelihood of a single observation in the model. An MLE is the same regardless of whether we maximize the likelihood or the log likelihood, because log is a strictly increasing function. For many models, a maximum likelihood estimator can be found as an explicit function of the observed data x x. For many other models, however, no closed-form solution to the maximization problem is known or available, and an MLE can only be found via numerical global optimization. For some problems, there may be multiple values that maximize the likelihood. For other problems, no maximum likelihood estimate exists, either the log likelihood function increases without ever reaching a supremum value, or the supremum does exist but is outside the bounds of theta display style theta the set of acceptable parameter values properties a maximum likelihood estimator is an extremum estimator obtained by maximizing as a function of theta the objective function cf loss function caret theta x Display style hat l theta x. If the data are independent and identically distributed, then we have caret theta x equals one n i equals one n lane f x i theta display style hat l theta x equals frac 1 n sum underscore i equals 1 caret n lane f x underscore i mid theta this being the sample analog of the expected log likelihood Theta equals E lane F X I theta display style L theta equals operator name E lane F X underscore I mid theta where this expectation is taken with respect to the true density. Maximum likelihood estimators have no optimum properties for finite samples, in the sense that, when evaluated on finite samples, other estimators may have greater concentration around the true parameter value. However, like other estimation methods, maximum likelihood estimation possesses a number of attractive limiting properties. As the sample size increases to infinity, sequences of maximum likelihood estimators have these properties. Consistency – The sequence of MLEs converges in probability to the value being estimated. Efficiency – i.e. it achieves the Cremé-Rau lower bound when the sample size tends to infinity. This means that no consistent estimator has lower asymptotic mean squared error than the MLE or other estimators attaining this bound. Second order efficiency after correction for bias. Consistency. Under the conditions outlined below, the maximum likelihood estimator is consistent. The consistency means that if the data were generated by f theta 0 display style f c d o t theta underscore 0 and we have a sufficiently large number of observations n, then it is possible to find the value of theta 0 with arbitrary precision. 
In mathematical terms this means that as n goes to infinity the estimator theta caret display style hat theta converges in probability to its true value theta caret m l e p theta 0 Display style hat theta underscore mathem MLE x right arrow text P theta underscore zero Under slightly stronger conditions, the estimator converges almost surely or strongly theta carrot M L E A S Theta zero display style hat theta underscore mathem MLE x right arrow text a s theta underscore zero. Note that in practical applications, data is never generated by f theta zero. Display style f c d o t theta underscore zero. Rather, f theta zero. Display style f c d o t theta underscore zero is a model, often in idealized form, of the process that generated the data. It is a common aphorism in statistics that all models are wrong. Thus, true consistency does not occur in practical applications. Nevertheless, consistency is often considered to be a desirable property for an estimator to have. To establish consistency, the following conditions are sufficient. The dominance condition can be employed in the case of I, I, D, observations. In the non-I, I, D, case, the uniform convergence in probability can be checked by showing that the sequence Carrot theta x display style hat l theta mid x is stochastically equicontinuous. If one wants to demonstrate that the ML estimator theta carrot display style hat theta converges to theta 0 almost surely, then a stronger condition of uniform convergence almost surely has to be imposed. Sup theta element of theta caret x theta minus theta a s zero display style sup underscore theta in theta big hat l x mid theta l theta big x right arrow text a s zero. Additionally, if as assumed above, the data were generated by f theta zero. Display style f c d o t theta underscore zero. Then, under certain conditions, it can also be shown that the maximum likelihood estimator converges in distribution to a normal distribution. Specifically, n theta caret m l e minus theta 0 d n 0 i minus 1 
display style sqrt n big hat theta underscore mathrm mle theta underscore zero big x right arrow d math call n zero i caret minus one, where i is the Fisher information matrix. Functional invariance. The maximum likelihood estimator selects the parameter value which gives the observed data the largest possible probability or probability density in the continuous case. If the parameter consists of a number of components, then we define their separate maximum likelihood estimators as the corresponding component of the MLE of the complete parameter. Consistent with this, if theta caret Display style white hat theta is the MLE for theta. Display style theta, and if g theta display style g theta is any transformation of theta display style theta. Then the MLE for alpha equals g theta display style alpha equals g theta is by definition alpha caret equals g theta caret display style wide hat alpha equals g wide hat theta it maximizes the so called profile likelihood l alpha equals sup theta alpha equals g theta l theta display style bar l alpha equals sup underscore theta alpha equals g theta l theta the mle is also invariant with respect to certain transformations of the data if y equals g x display style y equals g x where g display style g is 1 to 1 and does not depend on the parameters to be estimated then the density functions satisfy f y Y equals F X X G X Display style F underscore Y Y equals FRAC F underscore X X G X and hence the likelihood functions for X Display style x and y display style y differ only by a factor that does not depend on the model parameters. For example, the MLE parameters of the log normal distribution are the same as those of the normal distribution fitted to the logarithm of the data. Higher order properties. As noted above, the maximum likelihood estimator is square root n consistent and asymptotically efficient, meaning that it reaches the creme rao bound n theta caret mle minus theta zero d N zero 
I minus one Display style SQRT N hat theta underscore text MLE theta underscore zero x right arrow D math call N zero I carrot minus one where I display style I is the Fisher information matrix I J K equals e x minus 2 lane f theta 0 x t theta j Theta K Display style I underscore JK equals operator name E underscore X big FRAC partial carrot two lane F underscore theta underscore zero X underscore T partial theta underscore J partial theta underscore K big in particular, it means that the bias of the maximum likelihood estimator is equal to zero up to the order one square root n. However, when we consider the higher order terms in the expansion of the distribution of this estimator, it turns out that theta MLE has bias of order 1 n. This bias is equal to componentwise b h e theta caret m l E minus theta zero H equals one N I J K equals one N I H I I J K one two K I J K plus j j i k Display style B underscore H a quiv operator name E big hat theta underscore mathem MLE that a underscore zero underscore H big equals FRAC one N sum underscore I J K equals one carrot N I carrot pi I carrot J K big FRAC one two K underscore I J K plus J underscore J ik big where I J K Display style I carrot J K denotes the J K T H component of the inverse Fisher information matrix I minus one display style I carrot minus one and one two K I J K plus J J I K equals E X one two 
3 lane f theta 0 x t theta i theta j theta k plus lane f theta 0 x t theta j 2 lane f theta 0 x t theta i theta k Display style TFRAC one two K underscore IJK plus J underscore J it equals operator name E underscore X big FRAC one two FRAC partial carrot three lane F underscore theta underscore zero X underscore T partial theta underscore I partial theta underscore J partial theta underscore K plus FRAC partial lane F underscore theta underscore zero X underscore T partial theta Theta underscore J F R A C partial carrot two lane F underscore theta underscore zero X underscore T partial theta underscore I partial theta underscore K big. Using these formulae, it is possible to estimate the second order bias of the maximum likelihood estimator and correct for that bias by subtracting it theta carrot M L E equals theta carrot mle minus b carrot Display style hat theta underscore text MLE carrot asterisk equals hat theta underscore text MLE hat b this estimator is unbiased up to the terms of order 1, n, and is called the bias corrected maximum likelihood estimator. This bias corrected estimator is second order efficient, at least within the curved exponential family, meaning that it has minimal mean squared error among all second order bias corrected estimators, up to the terms of the order 1, n squared. It is possible to continue this process, that is to derive the third order bias correction term, and so on. However, as was shown by Kano 1996, the maximum likelihood estimator is not third order efficient. Relation to Bayesian inference. A maximum likelihood estimator coincides with the most probable Bayesian estimator given a uniform prior distribution on the parameters. Indeed, the maximum a posteriori estimate is the parameter theta that maximizes the probability of theta given the data given by Bayes' theorem. P theta x one x two x n equals F x one x two x n theta p theta p x one x 2 x n display style operator name p theta mid 
x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N equals FRAC F x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N mid theta operator name P theta operator name P x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N where P theta Display style p theta is the prior distribution for the parameter theta, and where p x one x two x n Display style operator name p x underscore one x underscore two l dots x underscore n is the probability of the data averaged over all parameters. Since the denominator is independent of theta, the Bayesian estimator is obtained by maximizing f x one x two X N theta P theta Display style F x underscore one x underscore two L dots x underscore N mid theta operator name P theta with respect to theta. If we further assume that the prior P Theta display style p theta is a uniform distribution. The Bayesian estimator is obtained by maximizing the likelihood function f x one x two x n theta display style f x underscore one x underscore two l dots x underscore n mid theta thus the Bayesian estimator coincides with the maximum likelihood estimator for a uniform prior distribution P theta display style operator name P theta examples discrete uniform distribution consider a case where n tickets numbered from 1 to n are placed in a box and one is selected at random see uniform distribution thus the sample size is 1 if n is unknown then the maximum likelihood estimator n caret display style hat n of n is the number m on the drawn ticket the likelihood is 0 for n rather than somewhere in the middle of the range of possible values which would result in less bias the expected value of the number m on the drawn ticket and therefore the expected value of n caret display style hat n is n plus 1 2 as a result, with a sample size of 1, the maximum likelihood estimator for n will systematically underestimate n by n minus 1, 2. Discrete distribution, finite parameter space suppose one wishes to determine just how biased an unfair coin is. Call the probability of tossing a head p. The goal then becomes to determine p. Suppose the coin is tossed 80 times, i.e. the sample might be something like x1h, x2t, x80 equals t, and the count of the number of heads h is observed. The probability of tossing tails is 1 minus p, so here p is theta above. Suppose the outcome is 49 heads and 31 tails, and suppose the coin was taken from a box containing three coins, one which gives heads with probability p one-third, one which gives heads with probability p one-half and another which gives heads with probability p equals two-thirds. The coins have lost their labels, so which one it was is unknown. Using maximum likelihood estimation the coin that has the largest likelihood can be found, given the data that were observed. By using the probability mass function of the binomial distribution with sample size equal to 80, number success is equal to 49 but for different values of p, the probability of success, the likelihood function defined below takes one of three values p h equals 49 p equals 1 
three equals eighty forty nine one three forty nine one minus one three thirty one approximately equals zero o o o p h equals forty nine p equals one two equals eighty forty nine one two forty nine one minus one two thirty one approximately equals zero O one two P H equals forty nine P equals two three equals eighty forty nine two three forty nine one minus two three thirty one approximately equals zero point zero five four display style begin aligned operator name P big mathem H equals forty nine mid P equals T F R A C one three big and equals Banam eighty forty nine T F R A C one three carrot forty nine one T F R A C one three carrot thirty one approximately zero 0.0006 pt operator name p big mathem h equals 49 mid p equals tfrac 1 2 big and equals banam 80 49 tfrac 1 2 carrot 49 1 tfrac 1 2 carrot 31 approximately 0.0126 pt operator name p big mathem h equals 49 mid p equals tfrac 2 3 big and equals banam 80 Forty nine TFRAC two three carrot forty nine one TFRAC two three carrot thirty one approximately zero point zero five four end aligned the likelihood is maximized when P equals two thirds, and so this is the maximum likelihood estimate for P discrete distribution continuous parameter space. Now suppose that there was only one coin, but its P could have been any value zero P one. The likelihood function to be maximized is L P equals F D H equals forty nine P equals eighty forty nine P Forty nine one minus P thirty one Display style L P equals F underscore D Mathem H equals forty nine mid P equals Banam eighty forty nine P carrot forty nine one P carrot thirty one and the maximization is over all possible values zero P one one way to maximize this function is by differentiating with respect to p and setting to zero. Zero equals p eighty forty nine p forty nine one minus p thirty one zero equals forty nine P forty eight one minus P thirty one minus thirty one 
P. 49 1 minus P. 30 equals P48, 1 minus P3049, 1 minus P minus 31 P equals P48, 1 minus P3049 minus 80 P. Display style begin, aligned, 0, and equals FRAC, partial partial P, left binom, 80 49, P carrot 49, 1 P carrot 31, right, 8 PT, 0, and equals 49 P carrot 48, 1 P carrot 31, 31 P carrot 49, 1 P carrot Carrot 38 pt and equals p carrot 48 1 p carrot 30 left 49 1 p 31 p right 8 pt and equals p carrot 48 1 p carrot 30 left 49 to 80 p right end aligned which has solutions p0 p1 and p49 80s. The solution which maximizes the likelihood is clearly p49 80s since p0 and p1 result in a likelihood of zero. Thus the maximum likelihood estimator for p is 49 80ths. This result is easily generalized by substituting a letter such as s in the place of 49 to represent the observed number of successes of our Bernoulli trials, and a letter such as n in the place of 80 to represent the number of Bernoulli trials. Exactly the same calculation yields s, n which is the maximum likelihood estimator for any sequence of n Bernoulli trials resulting in s successes. Continuous distribution, continuous parameter space For the normal distribution n mu sigma 2 display style math call n mu sigma caret 2 which has probability density function f X mu sigma two equals one two pi sigma two exp minus x minus mu 2 2 sigma 2 display style f x mid mu sigma caret 2 equals frac 1 sqrt 2 pi sigma caret 2 exp left frac x mu caret 2 2 sigma caret 2 right the corresponding probability density function for a sample of n independent identically distributed normal random variables the likelihood is f x 1 x n mu sigma 2 equals I equals one N F X I mu sigma two equals one two Pi Sigma two N two EXP minus I equals one N X I minus mu two two sigma 
2 Display style f x underscore one l dots x underscore n mid mu sigma carrot two equals prod underscore i equals one carrot n f x underscore i mid mu sigma carrot two equals left frac one two pi sigma carrot two right carrot n two exp left frac sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i mu carrot two two sigma carrot two right or more conveniently f x 1 x n mu sigma 2 equals 1 2 pi Sigma two N two EXP minus I equals one N X I minus X two plus N X minus mu two two sigma two Display style f x underscore one l dots x underscore n mid mu sigma carrot two equals left frac one two pi sigma carrot two right carrot n two exp left frac sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i bar x carrot two plus n bar x mu carrot two two sigma carrot two right where x Display style bar x is the sample mean. This family of distributions has two parameters, theta equals mu sigma, so we maximize the likelihood L mu sigma equals f x one x n mu sigma display style math call l mu sigma equals f x underscore one l dots x underscore n mid mu sigma over both parameters simultaneously, or if possible, individually. Since the logarithm function itself is a continuous strictly increasing function over the range of the likelihood, the values which maximize the likelihood will also maximize its logarithm the log likelihood itself is not necessarily strictly increasing. The log likelihood can be written as follows log L mu sigma equals Minus n two log two pi sigma two minus one two sigma two I equals one N X I minus mu two 
display style log big math call l mu sigma big equals frac n two log two pi sigma caret two frac one two sigma caret two sum underscore i equals one caret n x underscore i mu caret two. Note the log likelihood is closely related to information entropy and Fisher information. We now compute the derivatives of this log likelihood as follows. 0 equals mu log L mu sigma equals 0 minus minus 2 n x minus mu 2 sigma 2 display style begin aligned 0 and equals frac partial partial mu log big math call L mu sigma big equals 0 frac minus 2 n bar x mu 2 sigma caret 2 end aligned. This is solved by mu caret equals x equals i equals 1 n x i n Display style hat mu equals bar x equals sum underscore i equals one caret n frac x underscore i n. This is indeed the maximum of the function, since it is the only turning point in mu, and the second derivative is strictly less than zero. Its expected value is equal to the parameter mu of the given distribution. E mu caret equals mu display style operator name e big wide hat mu big equals mu which means that the maximum likelihood estimator mu caret display style wide hat mu is unbiased Similarly we differentiate the log likelihood with respect to sigma and equate to 0 0 equals sigma log 1 2 pi sigma 2 n 2 exp minus i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 plus n x minus mu 2 2 sigma 2 equals sigma n 2 log 1 2 pi sigma 2 minus i equals 1 n x I minus X two plus N X minus mu two two sigma two equals 
minus n sigma plus i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 plus n x minus mu 2 sigma 3 display style Begin aligned zero and equals FRAC partial partial sigma log big left FRAC one two pi sigma carrot two right carrot n two exp left FRAC sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i bar x carrot two plus n bar x mu carrot two two sigma carrot two right big six pt and equals FRAC partial partial sigma left FRAC n two log left FRAC C one two pi sigma carrot two right FRAC sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I bar x carrot two plus N bar x mu carrot two two sigma carrot two right six PT and equals FRAC N sigma plus FRAC sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I bar x carrot two plus N bar x mu carrot two sigma carrot three end aligned which is solved by sigma carrot Carrot two equals one and I equals one n x i minus mu two display style white hat sigma carrot two equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i mu carrot two. Inserting the estimate mu equals mu carrot Display style mu equals white hat mu. We obtain sigma carrot two equals one n i equals one n X I minus X two equals one N I equals one N X I two minus one N two I equals one N J equals one N X I X J Display style white hat sigma carrot two equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i bar x carrot two equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i carrot two frac one n carrot two sum underscore i equals one carrot n sum underscore j equals one carrot n x underscore i x underscore j to calculate its expected value, it is convenient to rewrite the expression in terms of zero mean random variables, statistical error. Delta I mu minus x I 
display style delta underscore i equiv mu x underscore i. Expressing the estimate in these variables yields sigma caret two equals one n i equals one n mu minus delta i two minus one n two i equals one n j equals one n mu minus delta i mu minus delta j Display style white hat sigma carrot two equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n mu delta underscore i carrot two frac one n carrot two sum underscore i equals one carrot n sum underscore j equals one carrot n mu delta underscore i mu delta underscore j. Simplifying the expression above, utilizing the facts that e Delta I equals zero. Display style operator name E big delta underscore I big equals zero and E delta I two equals Sigma two display style operator name e big delta underscore i caret two big equals sigma caret two allows us to obtain e sigma caret two equals n Minus one N Sigma two Display style operator name E big wide hat sigma carrot two big equals FRAC N one N sigma carrot two. This means that the estimator Sigma carrot Display style white hat sigma is biased. However, sigma caret display style white hat sigma is consistent. Formally, we say that the maximum likelihood estimator for theta equals mu. Sigma two display style theta equals mu sigma caret two is theta caret equals mu caret sigma caret two Display style white hat theta equals left white hat mu white hat sigma caret two right. In this case, the MLEs could be obtained individually. In general, this may not be the case, and the MLEs would have to be obtained simultaneously. 
The normal log likelihood at its maximum takes a particularly simple form. Log L mu carrot sigma carrot equals minus n 2 log 2 pi sigma caret 2 plus 1 Display style log big math call L hat mu hat sigma big equals FRAC N two big log two pi hat sigma carrot two plus one big This maximum log likelihood can be shown to be the same for more general least squares, even for nonlinear least squares. This is often used in determining likelihood based approximate confidence intervals and confidence regions, which are generally more accurate than those using the asymptotic normality discussed above. Non independent variables It may be the case that variables are correlated, that is, not independent. Two random variables x and y are independent only if their joint probability density function is the product of the individual probability density functions, i.e. f x y equals f x f y Display style f x y equals f x f y. Suppose one constructs an order and Gaussian vector out of random variables x one x n display style x underscore one l dots x underscore n, where each variable has means given by mu 1 mu n display style mu underscore 1 l dots mu underscore n furthermore let the covariance matrix be denoted by sigma display style math it sigma The joint probability density function of these n random variables is then given by f x 1 x n equals 1 2 pi n Two debt sigma exp minus one two x one minus mu one x N minus mu N sigma minus one x one minus mu one x n minus mu n t 
Display style f x underscore one l dots x underscore n equals frac one two pi caret n two sqrt text debt math it sigma exp left frac one two left x underscore one mu underscore one l dots x underscore n mu underscore n right math it sigma caret minus one left x underscore one mu underscore one l dots x underscore n mu underscore n right Carrot mathem t right. In the two-variable case, the joint probability density function is given by f x y equals one two pi sigma x. Sigma Y one minus Rho two EXP minus one two one minus Rho Two x minus mu x two sigma x two minus two rho X minus mu x y minus mu y sigma x sigma y plus Y minus mu y two sigma y two Display style f x y equals frac one two pi sigma underscore x sigma underscore y sqrt one row carrot two exp left frac one two one row carrot two left frac x mu underscore x carrot two sigma underscore x carrot two frac two row x mu underscore x y mu underscore y sigma underscore x sigma underscore y plus frac C Y mu underscore Y carrot two sigma underscore Y carrot two right right. In this and other cases where a joint density function exists, the likelihood function is defined as above in the section principles using this density. Iterative procedures. Consider problems where both states x. I display style x underscore I and parameters such as sigma two display style sigma caret two require to be estimated. Iterative procedures such as expectation maximization algorithms may be used to solve joint state parameter estimation problems. For example, suppose that n samples of state estimates x caret i display style hat x underscore i together with a sample mean x display style bar x have been calculated by either a minimum variance Kalman filter or a minimum variance smoother using a previous variance estimate. Sigma 
carrot 2 display style white hat sigma carrot 2 then the next variance iterate may be obtained from the maximum likelihood estimate calculation sigma carrot 2 equals 1 n i equals 1 n x caret i minus x 2 Display style white hat sigma carrot two equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n hat x underscore i bar x carrot two. The convergence of MLEs within filtering and smoothing M algorithms has been studied in the literature. History. Early users of maximum likelihood were Carl Friedrich Gauss, Pierre Simon Laplace, Thorvald N. Tila, and Francis Isidro Edgeworth. However, its widespread use arose between 1912 and 1922 when Ronald Fisher recommended, widely popularized, and carefully analyzed maximum likelihood estimation with fruitless attempts at proofs. Maximum likelihood estimation finally transcended heuristic justification in a proof published by Samuel S. Wilkes in 1938, now called Wilkes' theorem. The theorem shows that the error in the logarithm of likelihood values for estimates from multiple independent samples is asymptotically chi-square distributed, which enables convenient determination of a confidence region around any one estimate of the parameters. The only difficult part of Wilkes proof depends on the expected value of the Fisher information matrix, which ironically is provided by a theorem proven by Fisher. Wilkes continued to improve on the generality of the theorem throughout his life, with his most general proof published in 1962. Some of the theory behind maximum likelihood estimation was developed for Bayesian statistics. Reviews of the development of maximum likelihood estimation have been provided by a number of authors. See also other estimation methods Generalized method of moments are methods related to the likelihood equation in maximum likelihood estimation M estimator, an approach used in robust statistics maximum a posteriori map estimator, for a contrast in the way to calculate estimators when prior knowledge is postulated maximum spacing estimation, a related method that is more robust in many situations maximum entropy estimation method of moments statistics, another popular method for finding parameters of distribution method of support, a variation of the maximum likelihood technique minimum distance estimation quasi-maximum likelihood estimator, an MLE estimator that is misspecified, but still consistent restricted maximum likelihood, a variation using a likelihood function calculated from a transformed set of data-related concepts, a Kaika information criterion, a criterion to compare statistical models, based on MLE extremum estimator, a more general class of estimators to which MLE belongs Fisher information Information, information matrix, its relationship to covariance matrix of ML estimates mean squared error, a measure of how good an estimator of a distributional parameter is be it the maximum likelihood estimator or some other estimator, RANSAC, a method to estimate parameters of a mathematical model given data that contains outliers Rao Blackwell theorem, which yields a process for finding the best possible unbiased estimator, in the sense of having minimal mean squared error. The MLE is often a good starting place for the process Wilkes theorem provides a means of estimating the size and shape of the region of roughly equally probable estimates for the population's parameter values, using the information from a single sample, using a chi-squared distribution notes references, non-historical references, historical further reading Anderson, Erling B. 1970, Asymptotic Properties of Conditional Maximum Likelihood Estimators, Journal of the Royal Statistical Society B32, 283-301 Anderson, Erling B. 1980, Discrete Statistical Models with Social Science Applications, North Holland, 1980 Basu, Debebrada, 1988, Statistical Information and Likelihood, a collection of critical essays by Dr. D. Basu, in Gauche, Jayanta K., Editor, Lecture Notes in Statistics, Vol. 45, Springer Verlag, 1988 INIC, GA 2012. 
Smoothing, Filtering and Prediction, Estimating the Past, Present and Future. Rijeka, Croatia, Intec. ISBN 978-953-307-752-9. Ferguson, Thomas S. 1982. An Inconsistent Maximum Likelihood Estimate. Journal of the American Statistical Association. 77, 380, 831-834. doi, 10.1080, 0162145.1982.1904778.94. JSTOR 2287314. Ferguson, Thomas S. 1996. A Course in Large Sample Theory. Chapman and Hall. ISBN 0-412-04371-8. Lacam, Lucien Maximum Likelihood An Introduction. ISI Review. 58 153–171. doi, 10.2307, 1403464. Le Cam, Lucien, Yang, Grace Lowe 2000. Asymptotics in Statistics, Some Basic Concepts 2nd ed. Springer. ISBN 0-387-95036-2. Lehman, Eric L., Casella, George Theory of Point Estimation, 2nd ed. Springer. ISBN 0-387-98502-6. Miller, R. B. 2011. Maximum Likelihood Estimation and Inference. Wiley. Ruppert, David. 2010. Statistics and Data Analysis for Financial Engineering. Springer. P. 98. ISBN 978-1-4419-7786-1. Van der Vaart, A. A. D. W. 1998. Asymptotic Statistics. ISBN 0-521-78450-6. External links Hazewinkle, McKeel, ed. 2001 1994. Maximum Likelihood Method. Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer Science Plus Business Media BB Kluwer Academic Publishers, ISBN 978-1-55608-010-4 Lemke, D. 2016. Maximum Likelihood Estimation and M Fixed Point Ideals for Binary Tensors, San Francisco State University, Master's Thesis Collection, Degree in Mathematics, OCLC No. 980058195 URL, http hdlhandlenet slash 102113-173201. Maximum Likelihood Estimation Primer, an excellent tutorial Implementing MLE for your own likelihood function using R A selection of likelihood functions in R Myung, IJ 2003. Tutorial on Maximum Likelihood Estimation. Journal of Mathematical Psychology. Sightseer 10.1.1.74.671.